Remember, you're unique, just like everybody else. Now we're going to talk about distinct. And I want you to look at my student table here. I've got all types of different class codes, some freshmen, some sophomores, some juniors, some seniors, and I have a null value in there. Well, if I just ran a query and said, select class code from student table, I'd get many rows and many class codes and many duplicates. Hey, there's some freshmen, there's multiple sophomores, juniors, seniors. But when I use the distinct command, it will only bring back one row. So when I say select distinct class code from student table, I'm going to get one freshman, one sophomore, one junior, one senior, and one null. I've got two commands here for you. The distinct and the group by. They're equivalent. You see, we just saw how distinct works. It gave us the distinct class codes. Group by will work the same way. Notice over here I say select class code from student table. Group by one. Since class code's the first column, group by one is perfect. But I could have said group by class code. This is also going to give me a distinct list of those class codes. These are equivalent commands. But which should you use? When in doubt, go with group by. But here's a little bit more to it. If you've got many duplicates, you want to use the group by. If you've got just a few duplicates there, distinct actually could be a little bit better. If you're running out of space, you're getting aborted on that spool space, I want you to think about using the group by command. Remember, both are equivalent, but you're probably better off using group by. Here you can see the group by and distinct commands again, but with multiple columns. Here we're going to start with the group by. Select first name, last name from employee table, group by one comma two. This would be equivalent to saying group by first name comma last name also. Below that, my friends, we see select distinct first name comma last name from employee table. These are both equivalent, but again, when in doubt, I love to go with my group by commands. Now, let's talk about that. We might have John Smith and Mary Smith. Those are distinct because it combines first name and last name, and that's what it decides on if it's distinct or not. If there were two John Smiths, only one would come back. There are 10 rows in this student table. It's time to test yourself. I've got a question for you. Look at this query. Select distinct class code, comma, grade point from student table. How many rows are coming back? Good for you! There were 10 rows coming back because there were no class codes and grade points that combined together matched perfectly. So all 10 rows came back in that distinct statement. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.